Are you looking for a cheaper alternative to the traditional name brand artificial sweeteners for flavoring your plain water? Well, in this video, I have a great value alternative that actually tastes good and is still low calorie. Welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you all again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a low calorie way to enhance the flavor of plain water and still maintain your weight loss goals and general health because it's low sugar and very low in calories if you follow the recommended serving sizes. Now, one of the most popular ways that you can flavor your plain water is by using things like Crystal Light, which is a powder that comes in different flavors, such as a strawberry, cherry, lemonade, iced tea, bunch of different flavors. They're widely available in different supermarkets and Crystal Light is one of the top brands. It's a little bit more pricey than some of the others, but it is great tasting and it's available in different flavors and different sizes in a lot of places, so it's very convenient. Now, let me be very clear that I hydrate predominantly with water. Water is what I believe you should use for general hydration purpose on a daily basis. This is the healthiest, cleanest, no artificial ingredients. You're gonna know for sure that if you drink plain water on a regular basis to hydrate, you're gonna be in good shape from that standpoint. However, most people, myself included, are not gonna just stick to water. Some of us are gonna want something a little different every now and then, and instead of just drinking alcoholic beverages, sugary sodas, or juices, which also contain a lot of unhealthy sugars, I think you could flavor water with artificially flavored powders that I think are pretty healthy because they're low calories. Yes, they have artificial sweeteners, but at the end of the day, if the alternative is high sugar content beverages or alcoholic beverages or energy drinks that depending if you're overly sensitive to caffeine could cause you to have other different health problems because of lack of sleep, etc., then I think that hydrating with water but flavored with some low sugar substitute artificially flavored powder is probably a good way to go. If you want to economize, save a little bit of money and try out some different subtle varieties of flavors, then I think you should consider something besides Crystal Light. Check out Walmart's generic store brand, which is great value. I recently picked up this lemonade and it does taste very, very good, very tasty, a nice sweet flavor with that tart sourness of a lemonade. I really, really enjoy this one and it is comparable to the Crystal Light. I also picked up this cherry one, which is another one of the great value flavors that I can't find in the Crystal Light variety, but cherry is pretty good. I really enjoy this change of pace from some of the other flavors that I get with Crystal Light. Also picked up something that I always get with Crystal Light and that is the grape from Great Value again. Also very comparable in taste to the Crystal Light and it's also low calories, same nutritional content. I highly encourage you to check these Great Value brands out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how they really do manage to get them to taste pretty good. In my opinion, they taste great and they are cheaper than the regular name brands, popular ones like Crystal Light, etc. Obviously, everybody's gonna have a different idea of what tastes good. Taste is very subjective, but give these a shot in case you're wondering what they look like. I'm gonna show you right now. Basically, you get six little packets that come in serving sizes of one-fifth of the package. So that's what they recommend on the label. So if you want to get the calories that are on the nutritional label, then one of these packets, you get six. You gotta split this up into five portions. So I usually just eyeball it, and honestly, most of the time, I go with multiple portions. So. I don't have the whole packet, but I usually have 
close to half of this packet. So you get five servings in this packet and they're five calories each. So it's 25 calories if you take the whole packet. I usually take roughly approximately half of this packet in the bottles of water that I usually consume. And that's pretty much 12 and a half calories, something like that. So not too high, pretty good, still low calorie, low sugar, and it tastes great. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you actually put it into the bottle. All you gotta do is put it in and shake it. It's gonna be very, very easy to make. I usually have it with very cold water. Quick suggestion guys, I recommend that you do not start with the same flavor amount that I use. I use about half a packet, like I said, but that can be a little bit intense. That's just my personal preference. I recommend if you're just starting out with these, go low, start with the one fifth of a packet, which is the recommended serving size. And then you'll have the ultra low five calories per serving, like it says on the packet. Now I'm going to try the cherry one in this example, because the red really shows the color really, really nice. And I've had it before, it tastes great, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like, how easy it is to make, in case you haven't used one of these before. I like to use these water bottles that have the cap. The Poland Spring ones have a nice thick cap. They used to be thicker, but for environmental reasons, they reduce the thickness and I'm all for that. Support that 100%, but keep in mind that some water bottles that are really, really cheap are gonna be hard to mix because once you open the cap on some water bottles, they can get loose. So this particular one, again, I've tried it and it actually is not a problem. It's very, uh, very tight fitting when you re-close it and shake it, which is important to do with this type of a, of a mixture that has to be shaken. So I opened it, tore a little piece off the top, and now I'm gonna just very carefully, you don't wanna spill this, put in the amount that you want. I'm gonna go with about half of a packet and I just eyeball it guys. So I'm assuming that's half of a packet and I put the rest in there. I'll have that another time. And now we shake it up. That is a very, very intense color guys. I don't know if you could see that. Let me just shake it again. This is the chilled water and it does taste pretty good guys. I'm gonna give it a taste right now. Look how it foams a little bit at the top. Really, really nice uh, color on that. And for the most important thing here guys, the actual taste test. Let's see how this is gonna taste. I already know it's gonna be good. Red lips alert. I don't know, do I have red lips? I'm not sure, but it tastes pretty good. Take that back, it tastes amazing. A nice cherry. I put in half the packet, five calories per serving, but I put half, so it's about two and a half servings. So just figure it's about 12 and a half calories, approximately. That's not bad for this much. What I recommend is to sip it and it'll last you longer. You don't have to over drink it because when you over consume water or any kind of a fluid, especially ones that are sweetened or artificially sweetened or even just regular cane sugar sweetened, if you drink artificially sweetened drinks, they're gonna taste very good like this one and you might over consume fluids which could cause your body to release potassium and sodium which are minerals that your body needs for general health and your body will try to compensate and replenish that by sending a signal to your brain that you're hungry so that you can eat food even though you may not actually be hungry for calories but your body's going to want you to replenish those minerals that it lost by you over consuming washing them out with too much fluids so be careful with that guys i know it tastes good you want to just drink the whole thing you're going to want to drink two of these i do sometimes but hold back be careful with that guys, just drink in moderation and you should be fine. 
and just to be clear when I say you should be fine I'm talking about if you have specific health objectives that you want to attain weight loss goals etc and you want to make sure that you're not doing anything that's going to hurt you in terms of you progressing to getting those goals achieved then by not over consuming fluids you're less likely to fall into that trap that temptation to overeat to replenish lost minerals that you washed away so you should be able to lose weight if that's your goal by drinking and incorporating low calorie beverages but water is the best i always say that guys water is the best plain water you don't need the artificial sweeteners at all the only reason i recommend them is because they make drinking plain water a little bit more palatable and if you want something that's a little bit different a little more exciting occasionally in moderation these artificial sweeteners can be a good tool to add to your overall toolkit for weight loss and general health purposes so with that said guys stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video